What is up, everybody? You know, I always start this show off by giving love to those companies who make this podcast possible. Tonight is a special episode. As you know, it is Monday night, not a normal night. But guys, I have Blue On on tonight. So you guys know my love for Blue On and what they do for this industry. And when it says upgrading the HVAC industry, it is an understatement. Guys, I talk about the stuff that they do every single week. And I think sometimes that I say it so much that people don't understand the magnitude of what I'm talking about. Tech support has always been a pain in the ass 25 years in the industry. When you need it, it's not available. You're on hold for 100 years. They've taken over that game. It's not even close. Their tech support blows everybody else out of the water as far as availability, the service provided on what they provide, point blank period. The manuals, okay, we got that. Now, with the update of the app with the 2.0 and what they're doing with how you can get parts to the same supply houses, you were going to get them anyway, with the Blue On delivery, and now with the order to win stuff. And we have some amazing people on here to talk about some of these things tonight. Guys and gals out there, if you are not utilizing Blue On in your day-to-day -day business, whether you're a tech, a business owner, I'm telling you, you're missing out. This is a valuable asset that every single one of you should be using and it is only growing. It's getting bigger and bigger. Things that you think can't get better, somehow Blue On is making them better. All right? So make sure that you go, you and your team, go download the Blue On app and then watch this show tonight so you realize how this stuff can help you even more. All right? Let's get on the pledge and then get on with this amazing show. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless the United States, and thank you to all those men and women who defend it. If you're looking to grow in the HVAC industry, then you're in the right spot. Blue collar people talking about blue collar shit. Let's get better together. So turn up the volume, buckle your seatbelt, and let's welcome your host, Gil KV Jr. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the HVAC Uncensored Podcast. I am your host, Gil KV Jr., here on a special night, Monday. A special episode for you guys with my friends over at Blue On. So we're going to get right into this. I know this is not a normal night. It's maybe threw some people off. That's okay. Download it afterwards. Watch the video afterwards. If you do, just type replay into the chat. But without further ado, I want to get into this and introduce some more amazing team members over there at Blue On. So if you could help me introduce Mr. Dan and Tiffany. Hello. Hey, Gail. Hello. Yeah, so I guess real fast, we'll start with you, Tiffany. Let everybody know who you are and what you do at Blue On. I'm Tiffany, been with Blue On just over four years on the business development side, done a little bit of the training on our refrigerant, and now I'm on the platform side as well. So a little bit of everything. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. How about you, Dan? Well, I've got about a little over 20 years in the field, commercial, like commercial, residential, and I now work on tech support team. So I get to talk to my fellow techs every day and help you all out and do the best I can to help. Tech support is bar none, and I don't want to go down this rabbit hole too long, but anybody who's been in the field is called tech support. You know, oh shit, it's 4.30, 5 o'clock, I can't get in touch with them, I'm stuck. Or if you don't have a pin code, you're on there for eight years. And what you guys have done with tech support, and the fact that it was free for so long was amazing. And I think people didn't realize, like, hey, man, like this is a valuable asset. You need to jump on board. But I love the way that you guys are doing it now. You know, as long as people are using the platform, then you still get that great resource, which is the way it should be. I mean, nothing's free. You guys all have to be paid. And, you know, we tell our team, I'm like, hey, man, you guys can order the parts that you need for our company. Like we're paying for it from the same supply houses you were going to go anyway. 
and you guys can make money off of it. Like, why would you not do that? So I guess we'll go with this. I guess this probably be more you, Tiffany, if we can explain a little bit more about how what happened tonight, the order to win actually works and breaks down as far as the 250 bucks for different people and Yeah, so we're running a contest. No end date at this point. We're going through the summer. All you have to do is place an order on the app. So as you just said, it's the same supply house that you're already using. It's the same POs that you're already given to them. You're just going through the app. We're rewarding technicians for it. We give you points. And then you also get this entry. So we're giving away $250 to 10 people every single week. And like I said, just completing orders on the app. Yeah, that's awesome. How many times can you be pampered or patted on the ass to uh, to do something that you're going to do anyway? And our team loves it. So what I found out, some of the stock that I order, I use directly because I, I know that the supplier has to pay for it. But all of my guys doing truck stock, they absolutely love it because I tell them to go through the day. Just order it as you're using it. And then, you know, the next day or so, it's just going to show up at the shop. You guys are replenished. One guy's like, hey, man, I got like 60 bucks on here. What do I do with it? I'm like, whatever the hell you want to do with it, man. It's up to you. You know, that's your money. So it's a little perk. And that's what these guys don't realize. There's one of our guys that does. So he gets the money through Blue On, ordering his parts. And then he has some kind of gas app that he uses our gas card to buy gas, but he goes to a certain gas station and he's making money. And I'm like, all right, man, now you're getting a little too far. I might need 50% of this just to make sure I let you keep doing this. But that's amazing. And isn't part of it, isn't a technician and counter people as well? Yes. Yeah. We're looking at five technicians, five counter staff every week that are winning. So they can win in tandem. That's awesome. That is really, really awesome. Have you guys found out that it's the app and the 2.0? Has it really been busy and like pushing through? Is it blowing up like you guys thought? Has it steadied out or was it kind of like just a big push in the beginning? Oh, it blew up. We definitely saw the increase in orders last month. So we love it. We do recognize though, and we want everybody to know. We've seen that the the quotes, it's it's a little slow to get quotes back. So we apologize. We hope that you you bear with us now. We are working on a a solution for that. There's going to be an instant quote option here in the the near future. So it's going to be really awesome. But yeah, like I said, we understand it's slow. We apologize, but we want you to keep on ordering, trying it out. And that helps us push and get our partners to be a little bit quicker for you. And like I said, coming up with a, a really, really great solution here very soon. See, that's awesome that something so new comes out and you guys are still so quick to keep making it better. And and I've had that happen because our local Johnstone that we use for all of our truck stock and things like that, I got them on board with, with Blue On. And I know that their manager is the one who deals with the Blue On orders. So if he's out of the office or something like that, sometimes it takes a second. But I know that. So I understand the other side of it. But I know that he loves it. And he says on their side... What really helps them is the platform you have as far as if we need to get like an OEM motor and it literally gives them a list like, hey, you don't have this one in stock, but these four other motors cross over to this one. And he was like, that kind of stuff is just, you know, keep it simple, stupid. Like it makes it so easy for our people to be like, oh, well, we don't have this one, but hey, I can give you a quote on this one. That's helping both sides. The technicians get what they need and the supply house, because I don't ever want to say this in a negative light. It's When I was coming up in the industry, a lot of the people at supply houses were old technicians. They knew what they were doing. They could teach you how to do something, explain how to do it. That's not the case today. Some of these people have never been in the field. They're not technicians, which it's not their job to be. So if you can make their job easier, that's amazing. That's that's a win-win for everybody. Dan, I know one of the options on the app is if they have a question about the delivery or something like that. Are you guys getting a lot of phone calls when it comes to that? We're getting here and there. I don't think people fully understand yet the total value of the blue on delivery. And that kind of does kind of boil down to what Tiffany was talking about with the slower quote requests. You know, some of the counter staff taking a little bit longer to get back to people. And we realize that. And that's why we're, you know, the thing about blue on is we find a problem, we find a solution and we fix it. And that's what we're doing. And we understand that's a problem. And so we've had a few guys use the blue on delivery and it's freaking amazing how you can live track where your order's at when it comes to you. You can leave special instructions where you want it left at. You know, as a technician in the field, you're working on an RTU, you find a dead compressor, 
you put in your order for a compressor, liquid line dryer, probably a contactor, you know, anything else you might need, some brazen rods or whatever. And while you're waiting on that order coming to you, you can pull the gas out, pull the compressor out. By the time you get all that done, everything's there waiting for you. And it gets you home at an earlier time. Family is important to all of us. And working yeah. in the HVAC field, I'm on my second marriage. And that's because my first marriage was because of HVAC. And, you know, I was working, you know, 12, 13, 14, 16 hour days. And she just didn't understand. And so trying to help our technicians be more productive, I think it's pretty, pretty amazing with this blue on delivery. It's a game changer. I'm really, really amazed by what here at Blue on what we've been able to pull off with it. Yeah, I agree. Before I comment, I'm on my second marriage as well. It just happens to be the same woman. <laughs> <laughs> but you're absolutely right. And people don't realize that is, you know, how many times did you have to go get something and drive 30 minutes across town to the other supply house to come all the way back? And now you don't have to do that. I've put out videos about like live tracking the app and stuff like that because it's, it's literally like you just ordered a sub. You know, like I ordered my lunch and I'm watching it come to me and the car picks up. And a lot of people don't realize, guys, with this blue on delivery, it's sedans to tractor trailers. I mean, so they can deliver whatever you need. If you need a unit dropped off, then they can do it. I mean, this is a resource for you. It can come to the job. It can come to your shop, wherever you need it. We don't do this. I have it come to the shop, but I know some companies that said they're letting parts be delivered to the tech's house. Because a lot of people now with some of these CRMs, they don't go to a shop. They just go straight from home. So the parts are being delivered. They get home and they're like, oh, here's my stuff. I put it on my truck. I'm ready for the, the day tomorrow. And that's how they're getting their equipment. So there's so many different ways to utilize this, even if it's just the basics, the truck stock and getting all that kind of stuff delivered to the shop. Okay, maybe you don't have to hire that 17-year-old driver to go run parts anymore. Yeah, you're, you're losing somebody at a company, but... You also don't have the risk of a 17-year-old on your uh, car insurance, your business insurance. You don't have them driving around ready to wreck your truck. It's a liability you don't have to have. And plus, one person can only get to so many places. It's amazing. I, I want to kind of touch on the truck stock thing. Because, uh, I think it's pretty cool with that. Where I know you probably did the same thing, Gil. When you're in the field years back, you kept a pen and paper of what parts you used during the day. And... You know, okay, I use a 35.5 capacitor and I use a 45.5. And then if you didn't do that, the next day you're pretty much screwed because you're like, oh, crap, what did I use out of my truck? The nice thing about truck stock is you can just keep a running tally of your shopping cart as you use a part. Just pull it up, add that, and you're done. Yeah, well, that's why we have it with our guys. It's literally I built it in. So as soon as they're done to call, when they get done inside of our CRM, they go right over into Blue On. Whatever they use, they put in, and then at the end of the day, they place that order. And the next morning, we have it worked out with our local Johnstone. We're the first truck. So in the morning, the guy takes all those orders. As long as they're in before 2.30, that's, that's the deal I told the guys. So if you put that order in before 2.30, you'll have all that stuff the following morning. We have little bins and stuff are there. They come in, they grab it, they take their stuff. They're good to go. It just keeps track of it. And from a business standpoint, it helps too because – what happens if guys don't keep track, they go into the supply house, they bullshit for 45 minutes, and they buy a bunch of shit that they may need, mm -hmm. you know? So that's why I know I can't talk about it, but I can't wait for the other thing eventually rolls out, the, the B for C, because from my side, that is like, I can't wait so I can see what these little assholes are doing and how they're spending money and making money. They probably all have surge protectors at their house and new capacitors and all kinds of stuff, but uh, I'm just kidding. We have, we have a good team. But I think that that's absolutely amazing. Tiffany, for you guys on, on the business development side, I mean, it's a constant cycle because you guys do one thing and then you just keep trying to make it better. So I, I asked you this at first, how are you feeling like right before this launched as somebody who had to put in work to kind of make this happen? Was it excitement? Was it nervous? What was it? A little bit of all of the above. <laughs> so you, you hope that everything goes well. There always is usually a, a hiccup. Luckily, we, we've only had a couple. But yeah, super exciting. We're living in this industry that is kind of still in the 90s. HVAC is, for some reason, so far behind the times, technology speaking. So to, to have an option like this, it's just 
you wouldn't have thought that that we'd get here and we got here so quick. So yeah, the, the excitement is real and we keep topping it. We keep topping ourselves. I love the company and it's going to be great to see where we go. What comes next? It's awesome. And, and I tell people from obviously hanging out and meeting so many people at, at Blue On that I always joke with Jessica and Mr. Peter that, you know, eventually I'm going to come work for Blue On. But you you see like the culture that you guys have created and you can't fake the funk with that. You can't. Because I talk to people individually on the podcast and, you know, you can only fake a smile so long before somebody's going to be like, hey, man, what's wrong? You know, and every single person that I've ever met from Blue On loves the company. They have nothing but the greatest things to say about, you know, Danica and Mr. Peter and all that kind of stuff. And it's just, it shows in what you guys do. It, it really does. And that's the whole reason that I started doing some of these episodes is I wanted people to see what I see. Like when they think of Blue On, yes, think of an amazing company that literally is upgrading the HVAC industry, but also a team of people that loves what they do, where they do it, with who they're doing it with. And let's be honest, as people who run HVAC businesses, like that's what you're trying to create. Isn't that what you want to partner and do business with? So, I mean, it's kind of this whole full circle thing that I think is awesome to be able to get out and show people. You know, and as they say, you know, Blue On was built for text by text. Anything that comes up through our technicians that call in or they consult, you know, the tech support team, hey, what do you think about this? You think about that? We'll change. If the demand's there, we come up with a way. And that comes to our leadership with, uh, you know, Peter and Danica. And, you know, they are just amazing where they'll listen and know that, you know, as you know, Gil, as technicians, we're, we're different breeds, man. We're, we're strange. We think differently. We look at the world differently. We do have pretty exciting news coming out for tomorrow because of the, the demand from our membership. We are going to stop blocking part numbers. So you're going to be able to see the full part number again. And with that, that's, that's mainly because technicians want to do that. And also because of the changes that we're making with the parts ordering to get instant quotes. We want to have that in place for everybody because they talk, we listen. That's what makes this just an amazing company. And think about it. Blue On was awesome from the get-go, just with tech support and, you know, the manuals, which if you guys have never heard the story, and I'm not going to remember the name of the person who did it, so I apologize. We were literally on here one night, and he's not in here tonight. Jason Johnson is a commercial tech. And he was just joking. And he was like, oh, I'd love it if you guys could find this manual for a 75-year-old boiler. No shit. The next day, I got a phone call and said, hey, we found that manual. So in less than 24 hours, they found a manual for a 75-year-old boiler. And Jason was just joking because he was like, yeah, Blue On's awesome. They find everything. He's like, I sure wish they could find this. And the fact that they found it was just like... Come on, and that's now. that's hats off to our database team. They were all fellow technicians as well that work in database. And if there's something that's not in the app, you hit that feedback button, or you call tech support, and we can't find it. We send that off to those guys, and we have one guy, isn't we call him Bird Dog because he finds every fucking thing out there. What's his name? We call him Bird Dog. What's his real name though? Oh, uh, uh, Dave Ellis. I think um, he's the one who found it. Probably was. It wouldn't surprise me. He's the bird dog. All those guys on database, they have been working feverishly to add more and more stuff, especially on the commercial side with our integration with XOI. It's pretty amazing. I was there at the headquarters a few weeks ago, and I was noticing we were lacking a little bit of things on communication, like with the Infinity Systems and York and Ring Comfort Nets and whatnot. And so I told them they're there, and I'm like, we're missing stuff on us on our app. So what did they do? The end of that day, that stuff was available. So, I mean, the database team just is amazing with finding what, what we need as tech support and what you need in the field as you're using the app. So the point of what I was saying is that the original Blue On app was still pretty awesome. You know, Blue On could have rode that out for a little bit and been like, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they didn't. They were like, hey, we can make this better. Let's make this better. And then you guys put in all this work behind the scenes to get it out there. And then you come on here like, hey, we know there's an issue. So we're making it better again. 
Most people don't do that. They don't want to say anything like, oh, no, it's perfect. People are just using it wrong. It's awesome that you guys do that. And that says a lot about Blue On. And I think that that's amazing that it's constantly evolving. Like, hey, we're going to keep going until we get this right and make it perfect. And well, nothing's ever perfect. So I don't want to say that. But we're going to keep going to, to keep making this better. And that's what I tell people. And it's very small, but I'll be in, on one of the social media sites and somebody will make some like dumbass snide comment. And I'm like, well, that's not true, first of all. But second of all, if you have some kind of issue, tell them. Because you tell them and by the time you finish your sentence, the problem's probably already fixed. You know, if the stuff never gets back to you, then you guys can't make it better. It's crazy. Like I found out in the beginning that I didn't know this till one of these episodes like this is a lot of people couldn't find the manuals they were looking for because of how they were searching for it. They were like, if you put in less information, you know, of the model number, all of a sudden it pops up and people were like, oh man, I was wrong. I'm like, okay, see, you were talking all that shit and you were the one who was doing it wrong. Like, like now, you know, it's okay. I think about 2.0, that fixed a lot of those issues too. You know, and adding the blue on delivery, which to me, it's the blue on delivery is just a no brainer. If you look at it, okay, it's going to cost 35, 40 bucks, whatever, depending on, you know, how far you are from the parts house, who's available. But it's the same as freight, which is cool because the distributor pays them directly. You don't have to do, even deal with the delivery part of it. You pass that on to your homeowner or building owner. And so anytime you, you have to pack up your tools, start your truck, head to the parts house, you're out, you know, a hundred bucks. And so that's just how blue on is. We just ever evolve. We're making technicians lives easier and we're helping contractors with their bottom line as well. Yeah. And, and like I said, somebody who I came up as a technician, I'll always be a tech at heart, you know, about now being the general manager of a company, you know, I think about it from both sides, the technician side, plus from the business side. And to all the technicians out there, you may think, oh, it's not my time. It's not my money. Who gives a shit? Okay, if you have that kind of mentality, but you respect your time. Like Dan said earlier, like efficiency can help a lot of people. Your boss is going to like that. You're efficient. You're getting things done quicker. You're getting off earlier. Hey, next time you ask for a raise, maybe that money's there, you know, because you didn't blow it running across town to get parts that you should have had on your truck. You know, maybe now it's you getting home for dinner and having time to relax with your family before you go to bed versus getting off at 8.30, eating a cold plate of microwave food and having to take a shower and go to bed. Like that's how you have to think about things. And I say this for Blue On Delivery. I highly enthusiastically want all of you to try it once because I guarantee if you try it one time, you'll use it again and again and again, because it was almost a game that some of the guys were texting me like, oh, I saw you ordered again. Oh, hey, you ordered again. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of fun. Ordered again, because it really is just that simple. It's a couple clicks of a button and you get everything that you need to the technicians out there. Talk to your local supply houses. If they're not on Blue On, if you say something, they will get on it. I talked to my local supply house and was like, hey, we are going to use the Blue On app. People around here are on it. You're not. So if you want to keep getting, you know, the hundreds of thousands of dollars that we spend in truck stock, then you should do this. And they're like, oh, no brainer, Gil. And now other companies are thanking me saying, hey, man, thank you so much for getting this Johnstone to be on there because now we can use it too. And I'm like, it's all right. I'll be a crusader. I'm all about breaking walls down. <laughs> well, you know, as, as Tiffany said that, you know, the HVAC industry stuck in the 90s and it really boils down to the, to the supply houses. So I'm sure you know what it's like when years back when we were coming up in the field, you call in and you get that guy that's been there forever and you're like, hey, okay, I need this, this, and this. He's like, got it, dude. No problem. Now you get a hold of somebody there and you're like, this guy doesn't even know what a capacitor is. Yeah. And so that's kind of where they're at. And that's what we're working on. We're trying to change that human behavior that they have. That's the biggest challenge that we do have is the human behavior. But we are working on it day in, day out. And our teams are just amazing doing so. Yeah. And the other thing that I say is like tech support. And this is the truth nowadays. Like I have so many episodes. I talk about trade schools and the shortage of technicians. And I, and I won't go down that rabbit hole. But there's a lot of companies now that are sending people out and they're not equipped technically to do some of the things they're being asked to do. And it's not their fault. And it used to be that you were alone. And the same was figure it the fuck out. That's what they would say which is easier said than done. 
but that mentality made me the technician that I am because I got sick of not knowing and I would read every book, classes, online, in person because I wanted to know. And it used to be a phobia of tech support. It was, oh, I don't need to call tech support. That's how you learn things. That's why they're there. And I've had guys tell me, and, and they may not say it publicly, but they'll say it to me in private, is they're like, now when I'm on a call, even if it's nine o'clock at night, Christmas Eve, I know that I'm not alone. You know, if God forbid shit hits the fan and I need help and maybe my boss doesn't answer the phone or one of the other guys doesn't answer the phone that I can call blue on. And that's huge. That is huge as a technician. It's bigger than a lot of people might realize. Yeah, we get a lot of guys that call and vent, not even about HVAC, just about what happened to them during a the work day or bitching, complaining about California politics or, you know, we get guys that just come in and just, they just call us and just want to bullshit. And, you know, like our overnight guys, they get a lot of that. They'll get, they'll get guys call two or three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, yeah, I just, I just need someone to talk to. It's like, it's okay, so that's cool. You know, that's great. They have that outlet because we were on our own back then. I had a pager. I didn't have a cell phone. Yeah, yeah and a cell phone. I was isolated up in the mountains of Idaho where I was the only service tech for a 300 mile radius and negative 20 degree temperatures overnight. You had to figure shit out. You didn't have a choice. And what's cool is now it gives me the opportunity to help these young guys out that don't have the proper training. I'm able to take that time with them. You know, Blue On encourages us to take that extra couple of minutes. Sometimes it's an hour. It doesn't matter to help them, to educate them. And we're able to fill that gap, which is just fucking amazing. It is. I agree. It's absolutely amazing. And then just some of the stuff that you guys do. Let me ask this so a lot of people know it, and I don't know. So on the business development side, like, what are all the different avenues that you have to be responsible for? I mean, because I know that it varies. A business development means a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, I do a lot of work with the the supply houses. So um, helping them get the quotes out. We're trying to keep track of all that, keeping the lines of communication open there with them. So that's really our, our day-to-day right now. We do a lot of trainings, making sure that they, they know how to use the tool. We think it's so straightforward. I know you mentioned it. The tool is there so you can send any manufacturer's parts to any of your supply houses. You don't need to go to to different ones for different manufacturers. We give them the part. We give them all the cross-reference. So like I said, it seems very straightforward that if they would receive a, a request for a manufacturer that's not theirs, but they have a list of other parts that they do carry, that they would know that you want to shop with them. But it's crazy when I talk to them and they're like, well, why are they sending me this manufacturer? I don't carry that one. It's like, well, look in the list. There's one you do carry. And it's like, oh, it's like that technician wants to shop with you and they want to do more business with you. They can get something that they don't need to go to the guy that they didn't like. They can shop with you. So like I said, it seems pretty simple to us, but I mean, we're in it day in, day out here. So we do a lot of that work behind the scenes. Did you guys have to figure like literally go in and get all those cross references and all those matchups to be able to enter it? I mean, did you guys have a system to help you or do you have to literally go in and find each individual one? So we started with buying a company that that had a lot of this cross reference done. So most of our, our database did come from a company we acquired about a year and a half ago. And Dan, you might know more on the database side now. I think you're more into that than I am, but we have a team that that's all they do is they continue to build that and expand on it. And in addition, we now have manufacturers looking our way and just handing us their data. So we're signing NDAs and we now have them just giving us the the manuals and the parts because they realize if they don't make it easily accessible for you guys, then you're going to go to a different manufacturer, one that's easy to work with, easy to find the info. So I bet, I bet, because some of these are not easy to find. And I won't say the brand name, but even finding like service bulletins or different things, a manual, I had to go down this rabbit hole and they're like, oh, that little small thing at the bottom left hand when you scroll all the way down 45 pages, if you click that and then, you know, do the hokey pokey, all of a sudden these pop out. I'm like, who the hell is going to find that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how would I ever find that without calling somebody for it? And the thing is, most people won't call. They'll find somewhere else. 
you know? So that is pretty awesome that they have all those different things. And the other thing is, is like around here, say you go to a Johnstone and, and this supply house and that supply house for different things. If they're all on there, you can do the same thing at all of them, you know? And then if some of these manufacturers start hopping on board, you know, I've been pushing, you know, R.E. Michaels is based in Baltimore and I've been pushing them about trying to get on Blue On Delivery. And I think a lot of it was just, they had some system issues and they were just like, you know, we don't want our system to blog down. And I'm like, yeah, well, Blue On Delivery is not going to make a difference because a lot of people locally are like, man, I wish they had it. And I'm like, yeah, I wish they did too. But I think the more that it keeps happening, the more it keeps evolving, people are going to realize that they're going to jump on this boat and then they're going to wish they did it sooner. Yeah, I see a trend on guys I talk to on a daily basis. There's a couple of manufacturers out there where they kind of keep their shit under lock and key and you can't find their information on things. And that kind of puts a bad taste in the mouth of these technicians because they're like, yeah, I can't find anything online for this particular unit, this model number. And so I'm searching feverishly trying to find something and it's just not there. They just don't allow, they don't give you access to it, which that's going to make these texts be like, you know, screw this manufacturer. I want to use someone else in. And part of our thing is when we do on tech support, we run across a unit that we don't have that model number in our app. We just fill out a bug form. It takes us 30 seconds and it goes straight to the database team. And they're all over it like a fat kid on a cupcake. And they're all over it. Yeah. I know one guy that he was a warranty tech for a big company around here that one of the live things I did locally where I have like meetups and I met the guy, he said that, you know, he was having to call the actual supplier of the equipment because a lot of the things he was dealing with was under warranty. So he had to talk to them. And he was like, Gil, I stopped being a warranty tech just so I could go do things and be able to call Blue On and not have to deal with their tech support. And he's like, we're a factory authorized dealer with a pin code and it's still a pain in the ass. And I was like, oh, well, I'm glad to see you excelled in your job because you wanted to use Blue On. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> a warranty tech. I think I'd blow my brains out being a warranty yeah, tech. Yeah. Yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. That's crazy. And another thing I don't know, we should be allowed to talk on here about people being able to invest in Blue On. Yeah, there's the WeFunder. It was kind of a invite only just for, you know, some of our more prominent users, more supporters. So <laughs> you being the main one, yes. <laughs> I was lucky to where I got to work on that project a little bit. And it was very, very cool to be able to reach out to these guys individually and talk to them about it. And they were all very excited about that opportunity. It's just kind of a tip of the hat to them saying, hey, you know, well, this opportunity is here. Because, you know, when you work in HVAC, you may have a 401k, which, as we all know, goes to shit anyway. And so this gives you the option to maybe invest into a company where you have some say into it, how well it does, by using the platform, using the parse order. And you actually have a way to help us succeed in order to make your investment worth even that much more. And it was a really cool opportunity to our guys that we reached out to and just be like, hey, options here man if you want to invest great you know it's a great opportunity for you and we appreciate it if you do if you don't want to we understand no pressure man yeah it was awesome it was funny because mr peter actually called me like jessica was hey like mr peter wants to talk to you i was like okay i thought i was like a little kid going to the principal i'm like i, I know i've done everything they've asked i'm just i'm wondering what he wants to talk to me about you know I'm like getting all nervous i was actually talking to Vinny, and Vinny was like Dude, he's like, stop being a wuss. I'm, I know it's not anything bad. I'm like, all right, man. I was just getting nervous there for a second. But that's what he wanted to talk to me about. And it was honored that he called me and honored to do that because it is cool. And I've talked to a couple of people who were able to be able to do it. And they were super pumped. Like, they were awesome to be able to have that and to be involved in it. So it's just another thing, another tool to have that you guys offer that is just, it's amazing. And I can't wait to see, you know, five years from now, you know, what we're talking about with that whole deal or where it went, you know? It just goes to show you how much Blue On cares about our fellow technicians. We'll never get away from that. We care about technicians. That's why we built this app the way we did. That's why our development team has done what they have done. That's why our leadership, that's what they do what they do is to keep on building that rapport with our, our fellow technicians. And it's kind of funny. I got hired on the Blue On a little over a year ago. And my family members are like, 
you're doing tech support? I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand. You don't get it. This is not, you call in and you get somebody over in India and they're going, did you plug it in? Did you unplug it? Did you reset? No, we don't do that. You know, so. You got to tell them, hey, skip three pages. I'm past all that stuff when you're flipping. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you're talking about warranty tech. I got stuck. We did a job that had over 50 uh, LG mini splits for a low income housing project. And the first year I had to go to every single one of them. We had bad thermistors, a couple bad boards. And every time I had to call, make a warranty ticket and, you know, the tech support, even though I know what the problem is, you still have to make a warranty ticket. So he said that I was like, man, doing warranty tech for a living. Oh, all the respect to those guys. No, thanks. Yeah, they better pay you very well. And even talking to Mr. Peter, he'll say like when it comes to things, he's like, I'm not a technician. He's like, so when you know, Mr. Brian or people like them are like, hey, it should probably do it like this. He's like, okay, well, let's do it like that. You know what I mean? Like he listens to people that were in there and that's awesome because how many times that, you know, you have a really smart owner that's like, no, I want to do it this way. You know what I mean? Which obviously does not happen at Blue On. It's about doing what's right. It doesn't matter whose idea it is, you know? Yeah, what's really cool about that is it doesn't matter how long you've been at Blue On. We have people that come in, it's their first week, and it's like, what do you think? Like, not even knowing our process or anything. We like to listen to every single person. And I know Dan's mentioned it a few times, our technicians, all you guys, we listen to you. And any feedback you give us doesn't just get swept under the rug. We read each and every piece of it. And that's where we've made so many huge changes to our app and the way that you can interact with it. For anybody who wasn't on the app months ago, we used to have about 20 clicks to send a quote request in. We thought it was an easy process. Turns out that's a lot of clicks and (laughs) you guys don't want to do that when you're you're hot and you're on a roof. You just want to get, get it sent in and get down. So now you can do a quote request in three to four clicks. That all came from feedback. So real life feedback. So We take it from everybody. We take it very seriously and we love it. It, Each and every piece of feedback. It's awesome. It's going to be like Siri. Hey, Blue On, I need two capacitors, 35.5, and I need this and it's just going to show up. That's a great idea, Gil. That's a great (laughs) idea. I'll write that one down. (laughs) Yeah. That was going to be kind of hard, but who knows? Maybe five years from now, that is going to be. It's just going to be, hey, Blue On, you guys will just be on the phone. Or to be honest, I know that Blue On has been in the HVAC industry, but you know, some friends I know, like plumbers and stuff like that, they're like, man, I wish I had that. I'm like, yeah, but you don't. Haha. <laughs> it's slowly going to spread. You know what I mean? Like, that's when I tell people that this is groundbreaking. And you know, because of Uber Eats and how we grocery shop now, think about it. You know, 10 years ago, you weren't ordering groceries from your phone. Well, maybe we did 10 years ago, maybe not 15 years ago. I forget how old I am sometimes. But just the way things have evolved on how, you know, people grocery shop, you can order cars online. And like you said, that our industry has been in the 90s. And now having something like this, I think some people... I know it's new and it had that, but I still think that majority of them have not realized the power of it. And slowly, as a technician, all of a sudden you have that aha moment and all of a sudden it just clicks. Same thing is going to happen here. And I think majority of them haven't had the aha moment. They're going to realize like, oh my God, this is fucking awesome. Like, why didn't I try this sooner? It's going to happen. I know it is. Even when it came to people, tech support or manuals and different things using it, it's just... It's like they're they're slow or have to be pushed because we get stuck in our ways. Oh, well, this is the way we do it. Okay, well, just because you do it that way doesn't mean it's the right way, the easiest way, or the most efficient. Like, just try something new. And I think the more that that keeps happening, the more people are going to be like, man, this is awesome. And this is what I was going to say earlier, that even all of the stuff that Blue On provides, it's the community that was built that I love the most. It's people being built up. That's why I love like the Instagram side. Like, you know, most of my following in the beginning, I built up Facebook, but because of the name HVAC Uncensored, most people want to be assholes in the group. You know what I mean? Like I want a place and I want to be in an industry where a young guy can ask a question and people are like, oh, hey man, this is this or this is that and not get shit on for asking a question. And that's one thing that kudos that I give to Blue On that they haven't allowed that kind of stuff that it's been, Hey, if you're not here to help, then don't answer. Or you act like an asshole, you're going to get kicked off. That's not what we're about. That community, I think is one of the most powerful things. And then all the other stuff added onto it is just like, it's fucking amazing. 
I know Peter has actually gone on the forum and told some of those guys that they were not welcome if they were going to act like that. So yeah, we have a very, very cool forum. I mean, it's there to help. We don't have those guys that are coming on saying whatever they want. Like I said, Peter takes that very seriously. We all do. We love it. We, we want a supportive community, not a place where people get shit on. <laughs> well, and you'll know this, Dan. It's because it used to be for the longest time that, you know, sometimes you got lucky and you had an older guy that would take you under his wing that wasn't family. I had my dad, so it was different, but that would help show you things. But for the longest time, there's that mentality that I don't want to show this guy what I know because he's going to take my job. And that helping people just got to be hard. People weren't doing it. And it, then it got to be like, oh, well, if I shit on this guy, it makes me look better. And we're slowly having to break through that bullshit. It's literally chipping the ice away. And I think that like Blue On and some of the other platforms, like just social media platforms, some of the groups that you know I'm a part of and different things that we're slowly going to start getting away from that. That, you know, building up your fellow tradesmen is a good thing. That's going to be the norm, not like, oh, your install fucking sucks, man. Yeah. You know, mine looks better, but I'm never going to post it because I just look to talk shit behind my keyboard. Yeah, there's a fine line between busting balls and talking shit or just shit. Yes. Someone. Amen. And, you know, busting balls, that's just something we do in this industry. Any really trade, we bust balls. I mean... When I was doing new construction, man, we would bust plumber's balls. We'd bust electrician balls. We would just all just shit on, you know, just have fun. That's just part of You're doing a job that stinks. It's hot or it's cold or whatever. So to get through the day, you just pick on each other and just bust balls. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you go have a beer with that guy, you know, and you have fun. And so the cool thing about the forum is if someone's just being a complete fucking asshole, then, you know, as we say, we laugh about it. We call it dropping a band hammer on them. If you're just going to bust balls a little bit, don't be a dick about it. You know, you can play that on social media. You can get that on Facebook. I'm a part of a few Facebook groups and some of these younger guys are posting stuff. I'm just like, I just want to help them out. You know, I want to be like, here, you know, download this app and just call us because yeah. these guys are not going to help you. Either they're going to give you information that you think is going to be good and it's not. And you can't tell because there's no emotion through a text. So you don't know if they're, if they're just trying to bust balls or just being an asshole about it. But that's what's cool about the forum is we do keep that pretty much just, hey, this guy needs help, you know, and we actually have guys on our tech support team. That's what they focus on. They help with tech support, and then they also keep an eye on the forum. They make sure that we're getting good information out to these guys and make sure we don't have guys just there being assholes and shitting on people for no reason. Yeah, and most time I see it, it, it's good. And I love the whole just questions and answers part because – Sometimes if I'm just, you know, I got a few seconds, I'll just go in there and try to, if I see some recent ones, I'll try to help answer as many as I possibly can. Just because I tell all the younger guys that I train that I don't want them to be afraid to ask questions. Like it's not about making mistakes. One of the old guys told me a long time ago, and I love this is he's like, I've made more mistakes than you. There's nothing that you can do that I haven't already done. So Making mistakes is okay. That's how you grow. It's how you learn. It's making new mistakes. You know, make a mistake, learn from it, go make a new one. That's how you keep getting better. But some of these kids get so afraid because they don't want to get fired. They don't want everybody to shit on them or razz them or whatever it is. And I think slowly things like this, the communities and stuff like that are slowly going to start taking that away. So I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. The only ones in my Facebook group that I like is when it clearly says for trade professionals only when the homeowners come in and they're like, hey, man, I got this problem. And guys are like, yeah, touch R and C together. And, you know, and I'm like, hey, well, if that happens to them, they deserve it because they weren't supposed to come in here anyway. That's the only ones that I kind of sit back and laugh at. It's crazy. Dan, you've been blowing a little over a year. And how long? Mm -hmm. You said four years, Tiffany? Yes. Yeah, just over four years. That's awesome. And let's say so in four years, how much has the company grown? <laughs> it's almost unrecognizable. It's been a heck of a ride. We were all about refrigerant four years ago. The app was just, this is a really, really cool thing. We think technicians are going to like it, but we didn't realize what we built at that point. And uh, we started getting the, the calls, tech support. We've always had it two minutes or less. And we were getting calls for everything that had to do with Literally everything in this industry except for our refrigerant is what we were getting calls on. And that's when kind of the light bulb moment, we built something that nobody else has. We're brand agnostic. 
So we have Aon to York in the app. We'll help anybody on any manufacturer. And we were the first ones to do that. And we just kept building and building from there. So we're more of a software company these days. We still have our refrigerant, but like I said, what we built never would have seen this four years ago. It's completely different. It's so cool. Yeah. I bet. I joke with Mr. Peter. I'm like, hey, you going to make another refrigerant? And he's like, yeah, I'm out of the refrigerant game. <laughs> but yeah, it was a dream come true with the whole partnership with Blue On and being able to do that. And now all the different things that I've been able to do with you guys. And I'm going to come out there to the headquarters at some point. I know we've been talking about getting it set up. But one thing that really kind of meant the world to me is because of my relationship with everybody at Blue On and Blue On as a whole, that, you know, one of my big moments winning my award this year, you know, at the HVAC Tactical Awards when I won HVAC Podcast of the Year. And thanks to my buddy Ben, who's in here from HVAC Tactical, Blue On was one of the sponsors and he let them sponsor that award. So if you look at some of the pictures, you see Blue On's logo up in the back while I'm accepting my award. And I thought that that was just pretty awesome, kind of a full circle thing. So it's really, really awesome. And I do love being affiliated with you guys and what you're doing because it's just uh, game changing and groundbreaking for sure. Yeah, we do appreciate the love and support you do give us. It's pretty amazing. It's kind of cool to be able to have a podcast like this where, you know, just regular redneck blue collar guys and just go on and bullshit or, you know, watch a couple guys bullshit. It's pretty cool. That's groundbreaking in itself. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Five years ago when I started this podcast, I never in a million years would have thought that it turned into what it did. Never. I mean, hell, it's like three and a half million downloads right now, the audio side. And every time I look at it, it's amazing. Once again, the community, you know, yeah, it's, it's awesome. The podcast makes money now and all that kind of stuff, but it's always been for fun. And when people message me and ask questions or they say, hey, I listened to this one episode and I did what you said and oh my God, like I got a raise or now this happened. Like that stuff's just, it's so rewarding. And just to have a platform for people to be able to come and talk and hang out. So I'm glad that this turned into something or even just the issues like drug and alcohol addiction in the trades, mental health, you know, all those different things where somebody can come and listen to real people who are doing the same things that they're doing. It's been awesome. And I love, you know, helping other people. Like people are like, oh, you would think that you wouldn't want to help other people start podcasts. Why? You yeah. know, like I have a bunch of friends that I've helped and I want to see them do good. There's so many hours in the day that they can listen to everybody. Like I remember he's not in the chat, but my friend Chris Stevens, who is HVACR videos. I remember talking to him before he started his YouTube channel and he was like, I want to do this. And we were talking, that guy's got like 200,000 subscribers on YouTube right now. And I'm happy for him. He's my friend. That's awesome. I don't care that he has more subscribers than me on YouTube. Once again, it's the community, these people doing the same thing that I'm trying to do, just trying to give back to an industry that's been so good to us. And also changing the mentality of how people think of themselves as technicians. Like you should start referring to yourself as like, it's important what we do. You know, you're not just a technician or, oh, I'm just an HVAC tech. Like you say it with fucking pride in your voice because you can make damn good money in this industry if you excel and you try to be the best at what you're trying to do. If it's just a job for you and you're making, you know, $60,000 a year, then that's because that's all you ever wanted. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got guys that work for me, and I say this all the time, that are 25-year-old kids that make over $100,000 a year. We had to give them financial classes because they were making more money than their parents. And they didn't know what to do with it. One of them came in with $4,000 shoes. I'm like, that's not what you do with it. I'm like, don't do that. Like, who the hell spends $4,000 on a pair of shoes? Maybe a gun. The shoes? No. <laughs> yeah, no, no shoes. I love your hat, though, by the way. I've been looking oh, at that. <laughs> Yeah. So Dan, we're getting at 908. I want to thank you guys so much for coming on. And like I said, I really do absolutely love what Blue On is doing. And I love doing these episodes when Jessica sets them up because I love meeting all the different people behind the scenes. I've got to meet a bunch of you and I know I've only met like a small portion of all the people behind the scenes at Blue On. That's why I can't wait to eventually come out there one time. I know you guys go back for different things. It's not all of you at once that much, right? That's only like maybe once. Once a year, yeah, we all go back year. there. Okay, but don't you go back in smaller teams more than once, or is it just the one time? Yeah, every two months or so. Okay, okay. I want to set that up. I'm definitely going to come. I might come to California and not... Well, I was going to say come to California and not leave, but I'll definitely leave. I love California, but I'm not staying there. <laughs> it's a great place to visit. 
Yeah, let's just say I'm too red to live in California. <laughs> so um, that, that the reason why I live in Idaho. <laughs> yeah, my cousin lives in Idaho. I think she was like walks around with like a dirty hairy gun on the side of her hip all the time. I'm like, hey, more power to you. Everybody's got guns here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, that's crazy. Is there anything that we may have missed that you wanted to bring up or anything in closing that any of you would like to say before we start to close this out? I think we pretty much cover everything pretty well. You know, the blue on delivery, just give it a try. All it's going to do is save you time, you know, and see how it works for you. And just kind of want to reiterate how we are working on the issue with the time it takes to get a quote back to you. We are working on that, you know, and, and Tiff knows more about that than I do. We do hear a lot about some issues here and there. So the beauty is you talk, we listen, and we are working on it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of just to add on to Dan. So we offer this amazing app, all of this amazing support and manuals. We don't charge anybody a subscription fee for it. All we do is we ask you just to, to support us and to support us. It's just ordering just everything that you're ordering from your supply houses. Now, if you just go through the app, that's how we get paid. And like I said, you don't do anything different than just going through an app and hopefully very soon it's going to be a, a much quicker process than it is currently today. So appreciate y'all. I mean, it basically boils down to you use the app to order parts. Your pricing stays the same and we're basically paying you to use the app because we give you points. So you can trade those points in for gift cards. You know, it's a win-win situation for you as a technician or the contractor. It saves you time. And you get a little money back in your pocket just for using that. Yeah, or we're what to 30 people now that have won 250 bucks now. And this is the third week, fourth week. Yes. Third week. Yeah. Yeah. So third week, you know, so 30 people have won 250 bucks as well as getting the points inside the app. And just so everybody knows to make this clear, if you're watching after the fact that like they just said, now in order to get the free tech support, you have to be using the app. It doesn't cost you any money to use the app. Just go on there. You can click the supply house that you're using. You can add them all in there. You can pick one as a favorite, whatever you're going to do, and then literally order parts directly through the app. So it's very easy to set up. And as long as you're doing that, getting the same things that you were going to do anyway, and you keep doing that, you'll be able to still have access to that amazing tech support. So it's simple because I saw a comment one time. People were like, oh, man, you got to pay for Blue Ones tech support now. No, you don't. That's bullshit. You don't have to pay for it. So just use the app, order the things that you were going to get anyway through the supply house you were going to use anyway, and the tech support is still free to you and you still have access to it. So it really, really is that simple. And I highly suggest each and every one of you to go try Blue On Delivery. Use it once. Order a capacitor or something. Order your truck stock and have it delivered to you and just see how it works and see how easy it is. And I guarantee you'll use it again. I promise you, you'll use it again. It's just one of those things when you see how simple it is, it's like, holy shit, why didn't I do this before? That's literally how it happens. And I have one video out where I'm literally talking to the driver and I'm like, hey man, he's like, this is awesome. He's like, they sent me a text and say, hey, pick up this take it here. And he's like, and I go drop it off. So you're literally hearing all the sides of it. And the supply house people that I'm talking to, they love it on their end too. It makes it easier for them. It gives them, like we talked about earlier in the show, when it comes to motors and all this kind of stuff, all the cross-reference stuff is there for them. It makes their job easier. Some people I heard the bickering like, oh, it's harder on the supply houses. No, it's not. And I'm actually going to have a podcast here soon with the guy who's the manager of my local supply house. You can hear it from his mouth and he's going to tell you how much he loves it and how much it's changed the way they do things and how it simplified stuff. So you're going to hear it directly from somebody on the other end. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate you so much. Hopefully one of these times I'll get to meet you guys in person. Please know that you guys are always welcome back here. If something ever happens, something changes, just message Jessica or email me and you guys are more than welcome to come back on here. So thank you guys for what you do. We appreciate you. Yes. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start closing this out. Uh, you guys can hang tight if you have to roll. That's okay. Oh man, everybody. I love these episodes. I absolutely love everything that Blue On is doing. And I keep saying this, guys, go try it. Use it. 
Um, I know you hear me talk about it every week, but I promise you I talk about it for a reason. It's not just me blowing smoke up your ass. It really does make you more efficient and simplify the things that you have to do every day. From a business standpoint, if your guys are in the supply house, they're not making money, okay? They're in there bullshitting, buying things they probably don't need. That costs money at the end of the year. And if you're a technician, don't you want to get home to your family as soon as possible? and try to cut out the headaches and the bullshit during the day? All right, well, here you go. Let somebody else bring the parts to you. If God forbid something happens, keep up to date on your truck stock and have that thing brought to you on a daily basis, a weekly basis, however you need to stock your truck. It is literally that simple. And by doing that, you're going to make money back. Get gift cards. So all the parts that your company paid for all week, two weeks, maybe at the end of the month, you made enough money to get a gift card to... Outback or Olive Garden or, or I don't know, whatever it is. And you get to take your wife out to dinner with your company's money pretty much. So your company just paid for you to go out to dinner because the parts you bought your company paid for. That's how I want each and every one of you to think about it. All right. And then who knows, maybe one Monday you get a message saying, hey, we picked you on our drawing. You also want a gift card for $250. Guys, this stuff is simple. It is it was so simple. And this is why when people are like, I haven't done it yet, I almost want to like smack them in the head with a hammer because I don't understand why. It is absolutely amazing. And there's no reason that anybody shouldn't be using it. Okay, I know if you're one of those super techs and you fucking know everything, you don't need tech support. Okay, whatever. We'll bow down to you. You still got to order parts, okay? Even you super techs can't, you know, pull capacitor out of your ass. And if you can, then you might want to get that checked out. That's not cool. Definitely go check that out. Blue on Monday. Go check out Blue on's YouTube channel and you can watch those past videos. I think they're only about like 10 minutes long. The videos where they have a wheel they spin around that announces the winners and uh, see if they heard your name. Uh, see how easy it is. And they do that every Monday. And like Tiffany said, there is no end date. All right. With that being said, thank you guys for coming out. I know this is not my normal night. I apologize, but I'll be back here Wednesday. So I'll be here Wednesday as well for my regularly scheduled program. But thank all you guys for coming out. I appreciate you. I know that normally you guys have other shows, other things you do on Mondays. So thank you guys so much for coming out. All my moderators, let me try to say hi to some people real fast before I start to close this out. Obviously, Blue On is in here. Mr. Zeke Warner was here. Thank you. Thank you. Eric Lewis, Comfort Medic Home Services. Mr. HVAC OTJ, thank you, my brother, for being here. I appreciate you, my man. Sam Andrew, what's up, Sammy? HVAC Tactical, Mr. Ben Poole, what is up, brother? Mr. HVAC Rookie, my man, my brother from another mother, what is up, buddy? Mr. Jason Johnson, what is up, homie? I saw Miss Jennifer in here. I know she was in here, so yes, yeah, there she is. Miss Jennifer Manzo, what's up, girl? I think I got everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. But guys, I'm going to close this out. Remember, be safe out there. We all got somebody to make it home to, all right? Keep your head on the swivel, whether it's driving nowadays. People are crazy. We all want to make it home the same way we left. And we also want to make it home earlier by using Blue On. But anyway, do the little things. Set yourself apart from the next guy or girl, all right? Nowadays, with the, the resources and technology we have at our fingertips, if you don't know something, it's because you don't want to know. All right. Keep trying to better yourself. Have that mentality to push yourself. If you want to learn something, you want to master your craft and be better, look it up. Do it on your own time. Like the best of the best athletes, what do they do? They practice after practice. They leave practice and go home and practice some more. Well, that's what you have to do to make yourself better. I'm not saying don't enjoy your family, but keep trying to make yourself better. Whether it's a podcast, an online course, a book, classes local to you, whatever it is, keep trying to make yourself the best version of you. All right. Also, I want to say this is last month was men's mental health awareness. And I'm really pissed at myself that I didn't say something in the month of June. So guys, remember each and every one of you guys out there, man, you got something going on, something on your mind, you're depressed, you're dealing with mental health, talk to somebody, all right? As somebody who suffers with it myself, you can email me, hvacuncensored at gmail.com. I am no expert, but I'll talk to you as much as I possibly can. All I ask is talk to somebody. You're not alone and don't keep that weight on your shoulders, all right? I love you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you and uh, I'll see you mofos on Wednesday, all right? Peace. 
Thanks for listening to the HVAC Uncensored Podcast. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram or email us anytime at HVACUncensored at gmail.com. Now get back to work. Shut this down. The views and opinions shared on the HVAC Uncensored Podcast may not necessarily be the views and opinions of our sponsors or guests. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the fuck out of here.